Web work overview of authoring problems. The thing that makes web work unlike any other online homework system is the ability for anyone to create problems for students. But it gets even better than that. You can submit your problems to be vetted, approved, and shared with the entire community. To get a sense of what needs to happen when you author a problem, I'm going to take you through a few viewpoints, starting with the student experience. The student sees the homework problem on the screen. Each student may see a different variation of a problem if the author uses random parameters. The student then reads the problem. The student submits an answer for the problem. And finally, the student's answer gets checked with the correct answer. The problem author must do several things to enable all the student's activities. The problem has to be made available to the WebWork server and converted from a text file to HTML. If random parameters are used, then some back-end computational algebra program will need to be used to make computations based on those random parameters. The author needs to typeset mathematics and integrate that with the computer algebra system. The author must create an input blank, checkboxes, radio buttons, or other input method for the answer. Some computer algebra system needs to be used to verify the correctness of the answer. The author can also write up a solution, again using a mixture of text, mathematical typesetting, and the computer algebra system. Now that you know the various things that a web work problem needs to achieve, I'm going to talk about a language that was created to tie all those pieces together, and that is PGML, Problem Generation Markup Language. 